It's sometimes hard to imagine what life looked like at the turn of the century. But luckily for Pohangina Valley Manawatu, there was a farmer with a passion for photography who captured life as it was. Now, environmental historian Catherine Knight has brought those moments back to life with a new book on the work of Charles E. Wildboer. So this is a photograph taken of uh, bushwhackers. He documented basically the, the valley being transformed from a thickly forested uh, valley into um, one of farmland um, and small villages along the way and farmhouses and schools through this process of cutting and milling the forest, bush burning, sowing grass seed and harvesting grass seed and those sort of um, processes and he captured them all with his photography so we're actually really really lucky that he took those photographs and spent less time farming than he probably should have. <laughs> and now aided by modern technology let's find wild boar number three. She's bringing wild boar's journey literally back to life team. through an app called Geocaching. It says that direction there. It's a worldwide phenomenon with millions of caches around the world and tens of thousands already in New Zealand. It's basically wow, orienteering, but with your smartphone, where people hide caches in places for you to find. It's really neat to be able to take people to some of these landscapes, and this Opawe Road one is a good example, where they can see what he saw back when he took the photograph, and then they can see the landscape today and, and think about what has happened in between to create that landscape. Right from the inception of the book, actually, we thought it'd be a great thing to help people engage with this really amazing history of the valley, but also to engage with wild boar's photograph. If we physically got them to come out and explore these landscapes, not just sort of sit in, in their, um, on their couch and read the book, um, so a way of doing this was through geocaching, which is super fun. Um, you can do it, you know, you don't have to be super fit to do it. You can hop in your car or on your bike or on your horse. <laughs> the feedback that we've got um, so far from people who've done, you know, come out and looked for his geocaches have been really positive and people have been enjoying both experiencing the, the beauty of the valley, which is beautiful on any day, even when there's thunder and lightning, um, and just sort of understanding how, I guess, vulnerable, you know, the environment is and how we do need to take care of it. Um, that would be great too, if people got an appreciation of that. It's an educational opportunity for both locals and visitors, rediscovering the work of a local legend and bringing some history back to life. Alexander Robertson, Local Focus.